Cubase 12 MIDI Remote Control With Cubase 12, you can use any MIDI remote controller and you can control functionality of your Cubase. Let me show you how it works. First, I will close. I will show you what do I have here. I have two MIDI controllers presently connected to Cubase. This is Novation 0 SLMK2 and over there is Novation SL61 MK2. 61 has 61 keys and 0 doesn't have any keys. Now, here you will choose which controller do you want to use to control Cubase. I'm using Novation 0 SLMK2. Now let us see how it works. First I'm going to close this. Now you see my project window. With this button, I can open all over part of my project window where I have mixer, editor, sampler, uh, chord paths, MIDI remote. So whatever, I can call it by pressing this button. Now, this here are eight potentiometers to control panning of eight channels. This here is eight potentiometers to controlling volume of eight channels. I have more than eight channels. If I want to control more than eight channels, I have to make pages. I have several pages and when I choose page, then I will choose uh, which uh, group of eight channels I want to control. Down those buttons are for pages that you, uh, which group of uh, uh, channels you want to control. And up I have buttons to see, it is for view, to see actually those channels that I'm controlling. So it is actually configuration of the channels that you want to see. Now if I press here I will see just my MIDI channels. If I press here I'm going to control just my MIDI channels. Channel number one, channel number eight, panning one, panning eight. Those channels are connected to my arranger keyboard, in my case as the 90 Catron keyboard. If I'm uh, recording, live recording, separately MIDI tracks, I'm using those channels for this kind of recording and controls. Now I have another group of MIDI channels and I'm opening those group of MIDI channels and those channels here I will control if I press page number two. There is another group of MIDI channels where I can control motive, access, four channels. You can control as many channels you want. You have to make template in Cubase. What do you want to control? First, actually, you, are, you have to make template in Cubase. You have to have idea what do you want uh, to have in that template. How many MIDI channels, how many, uh, many instrument channels, or, and how many audio channels, vocal channels. So you have to create that and after that you will create editor. Now in this group I have to press here page number three where I am controlling first, actually let me go back. Uh, I'm now at number two. I show you it is Motif, it's Roland, Motif, Roland. Now, I am moving to window where I have virtual instruments, but I have 16 of them. If I press page number three, on that page I can control first eight channels, and on page number four I am controlling from channel nine to channel 16, panning and volume. Now, next page here and view here are my audio tracks. That is for view audio track and that is to control those audio tracks. Now audio 1, panning, audio 8, panning. And next is first page, this one is for my vocal tracks and this is controlling vocal tracks and look at one, uh, vocal number 1, backup vocal, backup vocal pan, backup vocal uh, I mean uh, main vocal pan. And now if I want to see all my tracks, I will press here 
and those are all my tracks. And if I put this down for a moment, I will show you. When I'm pressing this, you can see that as well here, what is activated. Now let me go press here for a moment where I have my virtual instruments. And now this virtual instrument, I can, with this button, I can go to the next virtual instrument, previous virtual instrument, next virtual instrument. So when I'm on that virtual instrument, I can, beside of go to the next and previous, I can solo, mute, record, engage, disengage. Then uh, I can see channel setting window and I can see my virtual instrument. When I have my virtual instrument opened, now I can control quick controls. Quick controls of virtual instrument. Dynamic, delay on off, delay control, reverb control, reverb on off. So it doesn't matter which virtual instruments do you, you have there. Any virtual instrument that is there, you can open it and you can control. Let me go to the next virtual instrument and I will open it. And now when it's opened, you can control that virtual instrument. It doesn't matter which virtual instrument is that. Beside of that, I'm going to close this. If I go to my audio tracks, so let me press window for audio tracks, call window for audio track, and let me press it here. Choose audio track. Now, if I go to mixer window, now, and if I just scroll a little bit here just to show you that audio track. Okay, that is my audio track. Now, with this, I can open inserts, see inserts, or sense, and when I choose one plugin, now I can control that plugin. Look at that. So I can choose which kind of compression I want to have with that plugin. And then I can choose functionality of that compression. Now let me close that plugin. Actually, let me close that window. Now I will show you those buttons down. Those buttons are transport button. Forward, stop. Backward, stop. Play, it will play for a moment. Then you can stop. If you press stop again, it will go on the beginning where you start playing. Or if you record and it, it will stop, press stop once, it will stop, press twice, it will go on the beginning. And this button is go to the beginning of the project. So this is here loop, this is here engage recording. But if you want to record something, you have to press, uh, you have to uh, engage recording on track that you want to record and now press recording and it will start recording of that track. So that's it. And now here, actually it's everything. Yeah, I came to the end. Now you saw that I can control my whole project every channel, single channel with quick control, panning, volume control, uh, that is here a uh, control of the track, chosen track, selected track, controls for selected track, calling mixer, uh, transport, and then here we have view, so configura view configurations, and then we have pages what do you, do you want to control? So if you want to learn a little bit more about this, go, go to uh, Steinberg, Cubase 12, and uh, down new in Cubase 12, go down here and MIDI remote control integration and learn about MIDI controller surface editor. And there is video that will give you some idea what you can do and how it works. But uh, there is a lot of things to uh, learn about this, and I think they should have some kind of uh, some kind of manual for this. I don't know, maybe exist. I didn't find man manual. I just figure out everything by myself. So, and uh, I, I in this video I showed you what you can do, but I, I guess I will make some videos in future. 
uh, maybe lesson one, lesson two, or lesson three, something like that. Divide those videos to make it shorter uh, and show you how you can actually program all those buttons. Main idea, you have to choose template from your controller. Then you have to make your project template and then you have to edit connect controller and do editing and functions you can assign to existing project. If you don't have project, you cannot uh, uh, actually you cannot uh, uh, assign functionality. You cannot assign controllers. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in my next video. All the best.